Oh, I got it. <laughs> nice. We were at a customer's house. Someone just called us and said that they had a bunch of these wasps flying around their yards. There are about eight cicada killer wasp nests in the ground in front of this person's house. What we're going to do today, I'm just going to try to catch a cicada killer wasp and we're going to put it in this little jar so we can get a close up of it. So hopefully it won't take me too long, but I'm going to attempt to catch a cicada killer wasp so I can show you guys. Hopefully it doesn't attack me. Please enjoy me trying to catch this cicada killer wasp. So hopefully it won't take too long. <laughs> Those things are fast, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I can catch one, dude. Those things are fast. Oh, I got it. <laughs> nice. That one's a, that's a female probably. Oh, <laughs> it is not happy. <laughs> So a couple more things I was gonna say about cicada killer wasps. A couple years ago, remember when people were freaking out about murder hornets? When people saw these in their yard across the country, they thought the murder hornets were invading their yard. They are pretty vicious looking and they're, they're definitely the biggest wasp species in North America and uh, this part of the country. So I can understand why people would be worried about these being murder hornets because they are very murderous, vicious looking insects. But anyways, these were definitely very misunderstood insects for a couple years because the news will put anything on TV that gets views. We have the cicada killer wasp in the jar here. I'm not gonna keep him in here for long. I don't want to disturb his or her daily activities. As you can see, it is a very large insect. They have very big eyeballs, very big wings, and the reason they are so big is because they have to take down their prey with almost brute force, but they do have that stinger that will paralyze them. But the cicadas, I mean, they're almost twice as big as this wasp as far as like mass goes. The adults actually feed on just flowers, so they eat nectar as their sugar source to survive. They're actually pollinators. They don't actually eat the cicadas, although it looks like they could. They just paralyze them and put them in the ground for the babies. The thing about cicada killer wasps is they are actually not social wasps like most wasps are. These are solitary wasps. The only reason that there are this many in a group is because the soil in this small area right here is perfect for making their burrows. If you look at these, these burrows, the freshly ground up soil, it's very particle-y and it's very almost sand-like and it's very dry. The wasps need this dry soil in order to properly dig their nests. These wasps emerge from out of the ground in the mid to late summertime. This is the same time that the cicada populations peak and a male and a female pair up together. The female has two jobs. The, her first job is to dig these holes. Only the female digs these holes. Her second job is to actually fly around and catch the cicadas. Now, once she catches the cicadas, she puts them in the hole. The male's job is simply to guard the nest. I don't know if you guys have seen any flying around. The male cicada killer wasps, they kind of just hover around and protect the nest area from any predators, or anybody that's really just bugging them. The good thing about the male cicada killer wasps for me, and the reason I'm standing so close and not worried about it, is because the male cicada killer wasps actually don't have a stinger, so they can't sting. But the female cicada killer wasps, they actually have the stinger. And the main purpose of this female stinger solely to paralyze the cicada. They can use the stinger to defend themselves from predators, but the cicada killer wasps don't have that defensive territorial instinct like some paper wasp species and other ground hornets do. They will attack you pretty viciously and tell you to get away. But the cicada killer wasps, they really don't care if you're around. All they want to do is just do their job. So once the female cicada killer finds a cicada, it latches on, she stings it and paralyzes it. Once she paralyzes it, she flies around with a paralyzed cicada and she takes it down into this hole. And these cicada killer wasps, they have extremely unique burrows. If you see anything like this, this is 1000% the cicada killer. They always have a burrow entrance, maybe three fourths of an inch. So this stuff over here, this has been rained on, so that's why it looks different. But this stuff is fresh. We are just walking in the woods and we heard this helicopter sound fly by us and we look down and it's a big cicada killer with a cicada in its arms flying around with it. It was really quick, it happened really quick, but the cicada killer wasp ended up dropping the cicada on the ground and then flew off. So we started looking at the ground and it actually dropped the cicada, just like literally like a package airlift, dropped it right above its nest. It, it landed incredibly accurately. If you guys look down here, so see all these pellets we were talking about where the cicada killer wasp, you know, brings it out and makes these little pellets. But we look down here and this cicada that it had just stung, look, you can even see its arms are still moving a little bit. This guy's still alive. 
but he has just been paralyzed with the cicada killer wasp venom. But the cicada killer wasp literally just flew off, came down here and said, boom, I'm coming back for you later. And if you guys look at the hole down here, we talked about this earlier, but it's literally just big enough for that cicada to fit inside and the wasp to fit inside with it. So this cicada is going to be buried in the ground. I guess later when this when the wasp comes back, we probably scared the wasp because we were walking right next to it. But the wasp is gonna come back and bury this cicada in the ground. So we're gonna leave it right there. And it was just really cool coincidence. I wish I could get a video of them flying together with the wasp and the cicada together. I mean, it's a, it's a flying object about that big, just hovering around like a helicopter. So that's pretty cool. And we just randomly found that walking in the woods. And this is definitely in the middle of cicada territory, guys. If you listen closely, all those noises are cicadas that I can't imitate it very well, but there are millions of cicadas out right now as there are every year. Some people think they don't come out every year, but they do come out every year. Some species only come out every 14 or 17 years. July and August are the peak cicada months. Once the female catches the cicada, she takes it down into this hole and there's actually chambers on each side of the hole where she lays an egg and a cicada. So there'll be a couple of chambers on each side. This hole will go approximately a foot into the soil. Once the cicada killer babies hatch, they feed on the cicada. Once the dead cicada is eaten up, the larva stays in the ground the rest of the winter and that's when it comes out in the summertime and that's how these insects are able to survive the winter. They literally just spend it in the ground where it's warmer and they won't freeze. We're going to let the cicada killer wasp go. I would like to thank it for letting us examine it and hopefully it doesn't jump out of here and sting me, but I'm just going to quickly let it go and I'm sure it'll just fly away like a good cicada killer wasp. Be free. <laughs> nice. What happens if you call Toby's pest control? We just catch all the bugs. We don't actually kill them. God, dude. Might have to like catch it off guard or something. I don't know. Yeah. They won't be back until they catch a cicada. That'd be pretty sick. I've seen one flying around with a cicada before. Really? Yeah. The cicada is bigger than the wasp. There's one. You talk about what would happen if he stung you. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out what would happen if this wasp stung me. I'm going to attempt to swallow this wasp whole. Guys, we were just hiking in the woods and I, and I saw a cicada killer wasp with a cicada and it it got scared and it dropped the cicada oh there's this hole actually so it's probably going to come back for it the, it dropped the paralyzed cicada down here somewhere but the cicada killer wasp is definitely around hopefully it doesn't come back help me look for it oh there it is all right guys look 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 there's the hole the cicada killer wasp hole all right see these pellets all right and then Right next to the hole, it dropped off its precious cargo. That cicada has just been stung in the face. So that cicada is still alive, guys. You wanna get in the video? <laughs> <laughs> this cicada is still alive. It just got dropped off at the hole to be put in there later. So I'm gonna leave it right there. The cicada killer wasp is gonna come back and then bury it inside that hole. Pretty cool. Can't believe we caught that. <laughs>